You may have heard about the Padman of India, the one who developed low-cost sanitary pads for rural women. But have you heard about the problem that sanitary pads create? The disposal of them that leads to landfills and there is no solution anywhere in the world until 21-year-old Ajinkya Dharia came up with one. Hi, I'm Hansi and today I'm here to meet the founder of this startup, five-year-old startup called Padcare. We at Rain Matter are learning about how climate change is affecting you and me, and more importantly, what we can do about it. Join us as we speak with people who are working on solutions for India. Welcome to the Climate Conversations. In his own words, Ajinkya describes what the company does. Before we start, where are we? This is a very curious looking place. Green floors, big machine. What is it? Uh, we are sitting into world's first sanitary napkin disposal and recycling factory. The machine behind me is this pad X that can process 40,000 sanitary napkins in a single day and recover more than 98% of the pulp and the plastic in, with a more than 99.999% purity. Oh, wow. Before we go into too much detail, about the background. Tell us in short form, what is Padcare? Padcare has invented world's first sanitary napkin processing and recycling system. At Padcare, we provide menstrual hygiene management as a service and we do it while ensuring the providing health, hygiene and wellness to the women while dignifying the West speakers. So, so for what I understand, you're basically processing sanitary napkins, which is a taboo subject in most parts of the world, but apparently quite a problem in terms of landfill. Let's understand why sanitary napkins create a landfill problem, starting with how they are made. The input materials are polyethylene or PE, which is a super absorbent polymer, pulp and adhesives. This has both health and environmental implications. Today we will look at the environmental side, which comes from the fact that only the pulp is biodegradable. The rest can take 500 years to decompose. And we know that half of the world's population menstruates at some point. Add to that babies and elders who also use diapers made in a similar way. When a pad care started, like generally what happens is that from women's centric disposal is means disposing in the bin. But that is where the another journey started. Our fellow way speakers are collecting these sanitary napkins by using their hands. Imagine they are actually separating it out. And the output, it is just because it is a part of non-recyclable waste, it is ending up to the landfill. So it's just not issue around the health, hygiene, but it's the issue that is creating impact on the health of our waste speakers as well. All of these napkins and diapers end up in landfills or incinerated. Both have environmental implications. Now imagine the scale of the problem. In India, we also have a dignity of livelihood issue because waste pickers have to handle this biohazardous waste before it gets to the landfill or incinerator. A young Ajinkya realized the scale of the problem and came up with the solution, for which he applied for a grant from the government. We thought, let us develop a bin. We separated out disposal at source with the bin and the processing separately. Uh, the bin is a small unit that can store up to 150 pads. Uh, it is normal bin, it is operating a manual and sensor one. But the uniqueness about this bin, this sanitary napkins can be stored for 30 days without any bacterial growth and the order with our pad care wrap technology. What is that? Pad care wrap is a technology that works on the vapor phase mechanism that creates small vapor into the red bin and because of that antibacterial vapor, it maintains or it is reduced the bacterial load. Because there is reduction in terms of bacterial load, automatically order is going to get dropped drop down. Let's take a quick look at the whole process from when the bin is placed in the toilet to the processing center and then even to the end product. The process starts at the source, the bin that is provided in the women's toilets. While a normal bin has to be emptied out daily to avoid foul odor, pad care bins can be emptied out once a month as the bin has a vapor that neutralizes the odor-causing bacteria. 
Poundcare also installs these vending machines for sanitary pads, but they are sourced from elsewhere. The bags then are bought to a central facility such as this one in Pune. The bag is stored in this box as a holding box and then put into the main machine. It happens daily basis so we process uh, the whole safe box into a single day. So she takes uh, the material from this safe box and then uh, she takes weight into uh, this weighing balance. We are doing the 3 kg cycles. So 3 kg takes around 3 minutes to process the cycles. Oh, that's it? Yes. Only 3 minutes? Yes, yes. Oh, wow. Three minutes later, the chemical and mechanical process is complete. On this machine side, you see two outputs. So we uh, get the output as a uh, plastic this kind of plastic we are getting at the output. And this is all sort of sanitized and everything? Yes, yes, yes. And safe enough for you to pick up with yeah, your hands? Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. Yeah. And this is output cellulose. We are recovering from the right. input material. Okay. Also, this chamber has 30% uh, moisture. Okay. So further re reduction of moisture, we are getting this cellulose into a, a cellulose drying machine. Okay. So we are getting the cellulose uh, into this machine. The reduction of output cellulose has less than 10% moisture, which is accepted by uh, various industries. So this is a dried cellulose. Okay. I spoke with Asavari, a biochemist by background who helped with the chemical part of the process. Now that the product is built, she handles the marketing. So what does the solution look like? Let's find out. We majorly try to pitch our solution to the sustainability department because our whole project is surrounded by sustainability, circular economy. Post Shark Tank, hmm. there had been a de deal which, clo which got closed in just one day. Oh wow, yes. really? Yes. Okay. So Asavji, who is our sales head, he went there. Uh, to show him a demo and he came came back with a PO. So it could be as low as one day and it could even go to say three months. We spoke with Didi who used to be a waste picker and is now an employee. She shares how this process has given her dignity as well as enough income to form a living. Respect to Matlab of the mascot ban gay. I wanted to explore the dignity of livelihood angle. Ajinkya shared some sobering numbers. Unfortunately, if they're earning maybe five, three thousand to five thousand a month in a month, I got to know that average spend in terms of their health and issues around six to seven thousand rupees. Oh, wow. Because they are getting in touch of the waste. And how has it changed for women working with Pandke? Right now, she has earning almost 20, 25,000 rupees per month stable income, having health insurance, having all the benefits, the dignity. After the talk here at the facility, we went to a lab to see how the cellulose is made into paper. Turns out, is it basically the same process as any other pulp, which is then made into products such as stationery and calendars. So the main outputs are pulp and plastic. The pulp is completely deodorized and decolorized and can be used in chemical and hygiene industries in place of imported wood pulp. So we recently done the ISO 14000 audited life cycle analysis that is given and entire for part care we have also considered a scope 3 we, we, and we, we con consider the manufacturing of this machine, materials going, manufacturing our side to slay, pad, pad care beans and all. So in nutshell, we against 1 kg of sanitary napkins, we are conserving 2.14 kg of carbon equivalent. When it is ending up into the landfill or like uh, the proportion, it is 68% lesser, generate lesser carbon compared to the incineration and around 55% lesser carbon, carbon emission compared to the landfill. That's 68% less greenhouse gas emissions compared to incineration and 55% less compared to landfill. But Padcare is still exploring the right partnership to be able to use the carbon offsets. Turning to the business model, I was a little surprised that Padcare describes itself as a hygiene service rather than a broader waste management company. Ajinkya explained. Talking about our expansion plan, our business model, it was a very conscious decision because 
and why we went into the entire taking care of reverse logistics end to end model because there was no model previously there was no operational model there was no business model there was no technology around that the clients are paying us for the monthly rental of vending machines and monthly service charges of this particular pad care bin then we get all this material at the back end and we earn from the small amount from selling of this pulp and the plastic as well right right so right now it is almost 80% is coming from service and 20% is coming from this right. uh, but we are expecting after a couple of years it will be more around 60 40 let me just talk about burning versus right. incineration right. burning is something is not under control incineration is a process it is between 800 degrees celsius to up to 1300 degrees celsius and that is a part where the the gases are also getting broke right in terms of molecular aspects okay. and it require very high intensive amount of energy if this all the material is getting in incinerator at the output all this process happens there are two outputs but three one input is a electricity electricity yeah. and another input is a waste right but most on india waste is not dry right pads are not dry it is having huge amount of moisture right. moisture create char because burn nahi ho pata hai wo right. and that char impact on the maintenance and the machine issues will occur the high maintenance is required for the incinerator right. second at the output you will get ash because it is burning right you will get all this kind of ash and then the gases right. if you put a proper filtration and as per there is height in terms of chimney that what we have to provide then there is no issue but what we have to go, going to do with ash again okay but if done properly at least the gases are not an issue that's what you're saying if done properly in scientific right. manner okay but right. it has come with a high cost right. right right high cost high recurring cost require good amount of maintenance right. uh, and the ash how we are going to dispose the ash again ash has to go back to the biomedical waste facility landfill i was curious why the service and therefore market does not include baby diapers and hospital waste he explained Uh, talking about sanitary napkins if it is coming from the household corporate is considered as a municipal part of municipal waste if it is the same sanitary napkins coming from the hospital is considered as a biomedical waste and the regulation between the municipal msw like what we we'll call solid waste management and biomedical waste is completely different and the different set of the systems are the required uh so but I'm glad we have government is supported recently for the, our diaper project and the same machine that what you are seeing at the back end can take care of baby diapers and adult diapers as well right talking about biomedical waste huge there is huge problem associated with that the machine technology is capable of that but yes there are certain kind of regulatory not or the approvals are required and we are closely working with the ministry of environment and the forest but in the future you will see in upcoming couple of years sanitary napkin and diapers this can take care of entire because our uh, adult population in, in in india right now after a couple of years 10 to 15 years the adult population is going to become a is rising right at a very fast rate right. that is another problem and everyone is started using the diapers and that that we can taking care of we also discussed scalability pad care is exploring operating models including franchisees he is dreaming big thinking about how to create micro entrepreneurship models at women's self help groups level there are many sgs already making sanitary pads so he wants to encourage them to recycle also in those villages are you saying that it, there's a possibility that these machines could actually be employed there and owned by them really yeah yeah we are, oh, we, wow. are we are doing okay. one small pilot in my own village as well Uh, where small SSGs they are going to manage manufacturing of the parts as well as disposal and recycling and they are going to earn from the services they are earn, going to earn from the selling of the parts they are going to earn from the selling of this output material and then in future it is going to link with the carbon credit system as well imagine that is only where we can able to reach in small gram panchayat small right. villages as well right. until the tier 3 cities but it takes it is going to take time if you can just license your ip and so that this can be replicated all over the world and we could solve this problem within a year would you be open to it uh as of now uh, no being frankly because the uh, 
uh is a part here when we look it is just not about selling of the system it is a entire phenomena it is high, how we are providing hygiene to the women how we are creating that inclusive model for the west speakers how we are creating model from this west value so i feel if someone come up in india and get going to set up collaboratively 1000 plus micro entrepreneurs and who can handle system parker will is ready to invest into them right so i will take a different approach here with a joint association because it's just not about the machine is entire different operational and business model associated with that but down the line after 3 years if you ask my same the question probably yes that will be more scalable at that time ajinkya is proud of what padcare has achieved we have received the funds and support from the government we have received our first customers pilot what we got from the government we have receive like we have got applause from mr like mr mahindra uh, i got a got a chance to interact with the nitin uh, we got a chance to interact with the sudhamurthy ma'am so all this everyone is just keeping aging you are right direction put more efforts and then we got a real clients as well who always believe into this particular vision people may have their own views on padcare's business strategy i think it's extremely commendable for ajinkya to have tackled this problem at this scale setting an example for others that we have yet hope in our people to come up with solutions to the climate change issue let's keep having the climate conversations i'm hansi and i will see you in the next episode